you seeing that's uh, exciting you at the NAMM show today? Well, I've been uh, only s seeing NAMM reports on internet and, and books for the past 20 years, so this is the first time I'm, I had time to come over and check it out. A lot of my friends are there from Avid and uh, Spectre Sonics and, and all this stuff. So. Good. Anything, any one particular product that stands out that you think is going to be find its way into your work? Yeah, I was. Uh, I saw a nice piano mic, and uh, I saw the Cog Chronos. I'm excited to see the new version of Omnisphere. Also. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, have a great show. Thank you. What's up, everybody? This is Dean Ogden with Scorecast. I'm here with Mike Patty and Mike Berry. Cine sample. Both Mike and I are composers, first and foremost. And uh, basically, own all the libraries that are already out there, so we know what exists. And I think what we do is we just find what's missing in the sample library market and just make that. And uh, that's pretty much what we do. And it all comes out of a need as composers ourselves. Like, what do we need to get the job done? And we make it, make it available to other people as well. I think we like to. Uh, fill the gaps of what's there and like, uh, provide a lot of glue. Cinework is a good example. Glue everything together. Use the other libraries to decorate. Use our other libraries. But make composers' lives easier. Move on, write the cue. Cinematic sound. Boom. Oh, next. Yeah, exactly. That's what the business is. Then. If you're going to survive, you got to write a lot of music. Yeah, I mean, you got to... I had a gig where I had to write like eight minutes a day. It was like... <laughs> I use Cinework on everything, you know? <laughs> Just some deep percussion beds and, you know, a million other libraries that are out there. Right? Break the cue out. I mean, it's impossible to write so much music and then make it sound good. Yeah, 